the newest addition to the last kids on earth series hello fellow bug questers it is i Aaron the bug quester and today i have this great bug the last kids on earth and the skeleton road by max brawlier himself and well let's get right on to it so if we start the main characters are as usual jack sullivan the nerdy video gamer Dirk Savage, the school bully, Quint Baker, the school nerd and scientist, and June Del Toro, Jack Sullivan's crush. Now, if we get right onto it, if we remember, June found out from her little side solo adventure from last, from the last book, we find out that we have to find a place called the Outpost in order to find a tower, and the tower is basically what they need to destroy because if the tower is completely built and completed. Well, basically, Razak the Ancient, the big bad guy who's going to destroy the world, is going to come into our world. And obviously, we kind of want to prevent that. So, they had sent Skalka, one of their friends, one of their monster buddies, to go out to see and find and get some intel on where this outpost was. Now, meanwhile, Jack Sullivan is training and trying to find the best zombies for the fight. He can only control a few zombies at once, so he didn't have time for not battle battle sufficient zombies. He needed the best. He needed the A team. So he made a little obstacle course. Well, not he, well, with everyone. And so basically, Dirk, Quint, June, and Jack, together they made a little obstacle course for, for them to test the zombies and see which one is better. I mean, which are the best. And while they were doing the training course, the skeletons come in. These skeletons, they aren't exactly normal. In fact, they aren't skeletons like we would know them from the good old days. It's kind of different. They look like this. Now, the fact is, they look like this, but when we find out, it is they aren't just normal, just normal sun-bleached white skulls and bone parts put together, no. It's put together, intertwined with divine thingies that Thrill seems to have complete control over. And it looks like... It looks like that the vines are pulling the skeletons together. So even if they hit it and they bash it over, the vines will bring and recompose the skeleton and that is not good so what do we need to do we need to use something that will harm the vine thingy so that it won't come back together now what we do need then is the gooey thingies or the gooey stuff and basically it's like a weed killer combination that quint and Derek came up with and it's super super toxic to these evil evil vine thingies so using these grenades of gooey things gooey slime or whatever you want to call it they throw it and finally they manage to drive away the attack and then when they get back home even more good news we find out that skalka our monster friend has returned but it, the news is grim a lot of the monsters has joined thrall's side which is not good that means that good guys are pretty much very, very limited. And they found where the outpost was. It is half of the country away, which is not good. But still, post-apocalyptic road trip, let's go. So, Jack's, Jack packs up all the stuff, and he starts to realize, Oh my god, I, w I don't have space for all of this. Well, no, Quint had already solved the problem. They, with the Big Mama, they had this huge trailers behind them to hold Jack's zombie squad, um, Jack's stuff, uh, Dirk's mini vegetable garden, and etc. So they can keep themselves sustained and nourished through the entire trip. So Big Mama loaded and, well, ready to go, they start to go on the road trip. And everything is good for now. Then they have a couple side adventures while going on the road trip. Basically, Dirk had this really, 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 uh, let's say dream 
of going to a road trip with his dad. So basically, he really just wanted to go to a lot of places. And so basically, once they went to this place where um, everything big, for example, like a MacBook, is really, really small, as big as, for example, an eraser. And it's actually seriously funny. And they looked at all sorts of stuff like that. This is the Big Mom Road Trip Edition that I was talking about. And they have loads of fun. But then, now, it's serious time. They reach the outpost, and they deal with the monster who is there. He's a former pirate, a raider. And finally, they manage to strike a deal. After, after Rezoth the Ancient has been stopped, he, Jack Sullivan, would give the Lucifer Slicer to the monster to add to his infinite collection of stuff. And after that, then the monster would have to agree to give them the location of the tower. And when they do find out the location, it is even more daunting. It is at the Statue of Liberty in New York City. That is not good because the last survivors of the zombie apocalypse they heard from the radio, they were under the Statue of Liberty. What had happened to them? June's parents? Quinn's parents? What had happened to them? They were all they were all under the Statue of Liberty. What had happened to them? We don't know, and that is very grim news indeed. But they find out, they're starting to find out that the vine thingies are growing stronger, so the gooey slime things don't really work that well. And also the fact that Jack had a vision and saw the tower, and it was massive, beyond anything that they had been built in this world, taller than skyscrapers, huge, with, hun with thousands of materials being used up to tearing down cities of the earth. They needed a lot of gooey slime things to bring that down, and the amount they had was, well, that much right there. That's three tanks full of gooey slime stuff. That is not enough to bring down the tower. That meant that they had to find a solution, and they got it. Apparently, there's this slime, there's a new kind of slime, that can just totally obliterate vine thingies. But this slime comes from this particular monster, a very little cute monster named Drooler. And so they go to find him. And when they go there though, there is a ferocious guardian that is guarding it. But that becomes the least of their problems. Because Blargus, the skull, the the Keras, the skeleton of Blarg, had come back, a servant of Thrall, and completely evil. And it came along and it attacked. And the ferocious guardian, the giant the giant insect like monster attacked Blargus and they had to fight their way out. And after the final climatic battle against Blargus, they managed to win, but they lose the big mama. They don't have anything to travel with, but they know that they will well go through something else. They'll find a new way to go. But problem, there's a giant monster right behind them, and then the book ends. Cliffhanger, classic. And honestly, it was a very fresh, nice, um, just, uh, Last Kiss on Earth book. I feel like these are, like, a really comic relief from all the die-hard fantasy books that I read and all of those other different books that I read. And Last Kiss on Earth always brings a smile on the face or a snicker to my throat. And it is such a great book series that I highly recommend for you guys to read. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester, last kids and nerds for all ages, it never gets old. Bye, have a great day.